Santa Cruz, the inside jokes with Jason Rouse. On stage right now is Massimo. This is Eric Johnson's Comedy in the Creek. We're at Lotto Sports Bar and Grill. And this is a great thing about comedy. You get surprise sets by people like this guy. Jason Rose. Magical. He killed it. He killed it. It's magical. We were just talking about some of the work you're doing now. You're in LA. Um, and writing screenplays. Do you know what kind of animal I am? You can't talk to me like that. I'm not a normal person. I want I want to see the normal, non-normal Jason. I am uh, an anomaly. I want to hear about the sex party we were talking about earlier. Yes. <laughs> I, um, I've been to a bunch of different things. I attract uh, uh, a sordid group of people, we'll call them, and... Um, Is that your fan base, just like a really... Yeah, deviants, uh, uh, murderers, uh, 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 rappers, uh, uh, Norwegian black metal bands, um, and children of all ages. <laughs> Uh, I have a pretty broad fan base. A lot so you, broader than you'd think. You play it blue as blue can be. I do. I do. It's 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 kind of natural. I think I was talking to some of the comics about this before, and uh, growing up in Hamilton, it wasn't mm. you wouldn't you're, if you exposed an Achilles heel in here, yeah. people would attack it maliciously until it was callous. So it, it's a kind of a, um, like a hazing thing, but I think you find out where your friendships are with people very quickly because you'll test them yeah. consistently where you want to fucking kill some of these people. <laughs> uh, Eric, go have a shower, please. Eric Watch. Johnson just had a great set, too, right Thank here. You. Good job. Good job. Comedy in the crack. Because in the crack. He's Good wearing uh, two liters of the car Noah. <laughs> <laughs> He says it helps elevate his tan. This is yeah. Dolce and Gabbana, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Douchebag and Gabbana. <laughs> Danny Bonner douchebag. Danny right. Bonner, uh, uh, Captain Lou El Dildo. <laughs> right? I remember that. You know, Who are your friends. influences when you're like when you're talking about stuff like that? Like early days. What did you love watching? Oh, Jim Carrey was, yeah. you know, a huge. You know, I was a catalyst. You'll see my comedy now. Actually, somebody sent me a message in the air uh, again today. Um, my physicality and, and kind of fearlessness was totally, mm -hmm. you know, influenced by Jim. And um, you know, and then I started looking at. A handful of comics that I really like watching that are far uh, from my style and stuff. So I. Uh, so the question was, who were your biggest influences? You said Jim Carrey. Yeah, and then music. Music came yeah. a big factor. You know, I right. always, you know, Dice. You know, yes. Kinnison. I, I started to look at guys. Not only the Ivy League. You know. Oxford graduates, Carlins and Pryor stuff, yes. and then seeing these kind of really uh, rock and roll, uh, um, big, you know, stadium guys yeah. where people, the audience looked more like a, a, on the verge of a riot, uh, <laughs> opposed to a, a standing ovation, yeah. you know, and I, I always love that kind of energy of the element in the air of... of Potential chaos and riots. Yeah. Which, uh, so because you're so blue and edgy, you have some critics. What do people? What was the worst thing anybody did in the audience did to you? Nothing. I you know. <laughs> when I lived in England, they're a little more vocal and uh, um, upfront about their opinions, and mm. add alcohol to that. Oh yeah. So you know, I spit on or spit at. Spit oh, on. Come on. Cool. Attacked a few times, but it's nothing. Uh, I I understand. You know. But if you want to have a, uh, a power struggle with me in my my realm or yeah. what I do, it, it's going to be really bad. So sometimes it ends up being a, uh, a battle of wills, and it can escalate where some people have tried to attack, but not not for some time. I try and charm them and then deceive them consistently and make them feel terrible for what they're laughing at. Oh, really? Yeah, I really like to see people that you wouldn't uh, expect be laughing at my humor okay the kid the 25 year old kid with the Metallica t-shirt <laughs> is an easy sell yes but the a 65 year old woman there on her wedding anniversary yeah. uh, to have her in tears is, is like that that's good job that's, that's an so what do you so. say how do you how do you get people like that on your side when you're so blue 
I'd be very direct. <laughs> no, I, it varies. It depends on the dynamic of the room and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I wouldn't be able to get away with as much as I do if I wasn't sensitive to the audience. So I'm very aware of the, what's going on. Yeah. And, and I'll change years in my pacing and, and you know be a little more long form or something that moves a little quicker and, mm -hmm. and accordingly so I have a kind of a, a deck of cards that I use and kind of shuffle in my high, uh, high my mind yeah I'm baked are you fried I'm pretty hot right now. Stone, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, <laughs> do you I do got, that before a show or I after a show um all day every day <laughs> all day every day at least you're honest about it yeah, why Here's, wouldn't I? I know, right? All those dispensaries were busted in Toronto. I know. Can it's you believe very, that? It's rude. Are there what, in LA? You live in LA. Mm -hmm. Are there dispensaries? What's the deal there with dispensaries? No problem. Well, I'm I'm not too familiar with the legal jargon, but yeah. from what I understand, and you might be able to articulate this better than me, is it's a uh, it, there's laws from state to state. Mm -hmm. And, but it's legal nationally or something, but individual states right, has their own own. politics yes. and stuff. So there's a lot of uh, a turn the cheek, kind of ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, mm -hmm. and behave yourself or we're gonna oust you out of the neighborhood. And then they have regulations. You can't be within certain miles of schools and you know, the, 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 the oh, yeah. yeah. Dope smokers so, around schools. Like yeah, you know, the kids don't need it. And, and that's, oh. that's an easy thing that, uh, um, uh, to work around. Yeah. You know? What's the big difference? So you performed in Canada, you performed in the US. What's the big difference between audiences? Do you get away with the same in both markets? It's so weird because I play probably, I don't know, maybe seven on average, maybe six to seven countries every year. Wow. So what I do in Iceland will be very different than what I do in Los Angeles. Because Los Angeles I'll be doing maybe anywhere from five minutes to maybe a 20 minute set. Because it's yeah. all showcase stuff. And yeah. Occasionally I'll get the chance to do headline, uh, headlines and spots at the improv. But uh, the the pacing of the show and the, uh, the dynamic of it is so different from what I'll do in my own show. Where people come to see me and they're anticipating the worst yeah. of the worst. Where I have to be... <laughs> A little more clinical and uh, precise when I'm in California. But audiences vary, you know. In one club, you can have a series of shows and have completely different dynamics. It yeah, doesn't matter. That's right. Country to country, country yeah. it doesn't matter. So. Um, okay, and finally, Comic Tribes. You have some pretty big players that you hang with. Uh, uh, Russell Peters, uh, some of the guys we were talking about earlier. Yeah, it's not. Like I hang out with a lot of Canadians. Yeah. I hang out with a lot of Canadians. You know, I Beaver see, Club, it's called, right? I see uh, Beaver, Beaver Club. Club. Beaver Club. It's not, no, I was going to say some gross analogy. <laughs> Do it. No. Do it. I'm big. Don't. I want to see some roast in the there, house. There's, good, there's a lot of good... Uh, I hang out with a lot of Canadians in, yeah. in Los Angeles. So when you guys Do get it. together, what kind of stuff is going on? Are you guys riffing with each other? What, what, no, what it's not as... Uh, to go back in there. It's, oh, it's not that... Uh, not that clinical. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> we got to well, wrap it up. What? Okay. Up. Santa Cruz, the inside jokes. On the Jason road. Jason Rouse, on the road. We're going to have more of that. And audience.